Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today in this video, we are going to talk about another very interesting tool or you can say image called Selenium. So till now you must have used Selenium, but we are going to talk about something new called Selenium. So let's see what exactly we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we will talk about what is the traditional approach when we start Selenium Grid. So till now we have seen how to set up Selenium Grid in the local system, how to set up Selenium Grid in Docker. But what is the problem with the traditional approach that also we have to discuss or in simple words you can see what is the limitation when we go with our old approach. Then once you understand the limitations, we have to talk about what exactly is Selenium, how to set up Selenium in your local system, how you can run the parallel test on different containers and we will talk about new container creation at runtime which is also known as auto scaling in this uh, concept so we'll see when you don't have enough containers how it will create new containers for you at every time you need a new node or a new container okay so this is going to be very interesting so please watch the video till the end because we will be discussing each each and everything in detail so now if you have gone through my previous docker selenium videos we have done this kind of setup where we created a selenium hub we also connected two selenium nodes okay which is uh, nothing but a different containers and these containers or the nodes are connected to selenium hub now whenever you need to run more tests or whenever you need a new node again you have to manually attach this node to the selenium hub right again you need to uh, connect this selenium node with the selenium hub again you have to run the command and it will attach this node to the hub so this is just very basic example where i have three nodes what if you need five more nodes what if you need 10 more nodes so each and every time you have to go and connect your node to your hub which is again a time consuming and every time you need to run that commands right so that is also i will say problem or you need to keep on adding the nodes if your test are scaling right so what is the solution here so we need to also discuss about one solution where these containers will get automatically connected and created okay or in simple created and connected to the selenium hub and it should get destroyed whenever your tests are done so the solution here is selenium so what exactly selenium will do it will help you to create these containers at runtime and it will destroy once it is uh, like done completely these are the two links for Zelenium. So just navigate to opensource.zelandro.com and slash Zelenium. So if you see this part, it has clearly mentioned that it's a flexible and scalable container based on Selenium grid with video recording, live preview, basic authentication and dashboard. So uh, once we start, I will definitely show you all these links, how you can see the live preview and how you can see the dashboard with video recording. It's one of the uh, I will say very important feature which is recommended when you run your test on the virtual machines or on the container side. So now if you see what exactly it does, it will start the Selenium grid and it will, it will automatically set up the Selenium grid with few nodes and the main part, it, part is it will scale up and down dynamically. Okay, so how it exactly it works, it use a concept called Kubernetes okay so if you see this selenium works with kubernetes so if you know about kubernetes it has many other features one of the features is auto scaling so when i say auto scaling let's say you have a couple of uh, nodes which are already occupied and now you want to run another test and if you don't have container kubernetes will automatically scale up your um, selenium grid so it will automatically create runtime nodes or as a container and it will attach to your selenium hub okay so we'll talk about uh, kubernetes as well in detail once you move forward for the time being just understand that we also have a kubernetes concept which also has auto healing capacity and auto scaling so it uses kubernetes along with docker okay so it can also run your test on the different cloud testing provider like Source Lab, Browser, Stack, Testing Board, Cross Browser Testing and any other uh, vendors which you have. Right now, this Zelenium only supports Firefox and Chrome. 
okay so if you want to run on i browser or safari browser maybe you have to wait as of now they only support firefox and chrome and whenever you have time please go through this link they have very good documentation okay so let's quickly see a few more details about selenium so what exactly selenium is doing which was not uh, like which we haven't done with docker so internally as we know selenium use docker but in docker we used to run uh, images right we used to run hub then node and again one more uh, sorry we used to run um, hub image then chrome node and firefox node and if i have to register a new node again i have to run a separate image but that was when you have a fixed number of containers now let's assume you don't want to uh, fix up your size you want your test to be scaled up so selenium will keep on registering a new node as a container whenever it's required so we know how complicated it is to have a stable grid to run UI test with selenium uh, maintain it over time yeah this is the main part as we know these browsers are getting updated very frequently right with the let's say if you talk about the chrome they have monthly release if you talk about uh, firefox they have maybe quarterly release so we have to keep on updating our browsers and the drivers right manually so this selenium will keep on updating your uh, browsers and your drivers okay based on the next available version now they have given wider selenium what exactly uh, selenium means just go through this they have uh, given some beautiful description now the main part is you just need to run one command with the help of one command your hub your nodes everything will be up and running okay so what you need to do you just need to pull two images one is uh, docker selenium one is for selenium and once these images are present in a local system you just need to run this command and your selenium will be up and running okay and what you need to do you just need to uh, run one more command in case if you want to stop the selenium so docker stop selenium and this is also alternative like if you don't want to pull uh, this image then how you can do this is the way but we'll go in this way it's quite easy just pull two images and just run it and they have also given uh, two important links once everything is up and running you need to check the grid console and the dashboard that we will see now and this is how the dashboard will look like so on the left hand side you can see they have a uh, test which will be running okay so this will show you the history as well on the right hand side whatever session is up and running you will get to know so it will give the selenium logs browser logs and many other details as well and additional features like it will be uh, like each and every test will be recorded you will get a re uh, video in mp4 format which you can uh, like either directly download and you can share with the team or you can directly give the dashboard link they can easily view it and in case if you are deploying this selenium on any other cloud like aws gcp or azure okay they also provide basic authentication so that only whenever somebody wants to uh, view the result if they have basic uh, credentials then only they can view it and the most important part you can mount volume across containers whenever you need a specific file in your test okay let's say you want to uh, have some files from local system to container you can attach a volume and do that so they have given the clear instruction before starting you just need two images start the selenium so they have given for different uh, operating systems for linux os x and mac so i'm using mac as of now i just need to run this command and same for windows you just need to run this command and it will work now these are some other special special cases and customizations you can enable source lab browser stack just check it once main part which i like the video feature as of now it will run one test on one node and i will show you how you can scale up so now if you just see this these are the default configuration which they are given i will show you this one by one what it, what um, is the main part which you have to focus right now is the number of nodes and the container by default it will have only two containers 
and whenever you need one more container it will create a runtime and it will destroy and right now and you can see this the default value again maximum docker selenium containers it means maximum number of containers at the same time is 10 again you can override and you can see if you want to enable this you can enable with true but as of now these are the default conditions these are the fa false by default video recording is enabled so you will get video recording every time this is the width and size time zone it will take this time zone but you can set the time zone according to your time or your requirement and these are some other details which they have given as false in case if you want to enable just enable it and you will see like by default debug is uh, false log json file is again off in case if you want just make this parameters true and you will get it okay so these are some samples they have given and uh, now if we just come little downside and this is what about the kubernetes they have given that it supports kubernetes so just go through this documentation very easy to follow and this is the live preview this is the most important part like when your tests are running you can actually see the test running live plus you can interact as well so right now you can see there are two containers right so it means by default two containers will be there if you need one more container it will get created at runtime and you will be able to see them live on this live dashboard they have given quick links how you can uh, just reach to these links that we will use now dashboard anyways we have discussed and these are some more details this is what exactly you need to know in case if you have time just check out this complete uh, website you will find so many interesting links topics and uh, these are some quick links they have given about selenium like different sessions they have taken and uh, uh, few updates and many other important links just check check it once which one is useful for you and this is the github repository which they have given for selenium in case if you are interested to uh, interested about how exactly they have created these images or how exactly they have written the docker file and everything please go ahead and open each and every file and check okay so you can see the latest update that we have given like 10 days back so if you just open it you can see the docker file which they have updated 10 days back okay so you can see they have read docker file which says take this image from this system and few more commands again it's completely open source just go ahead and read uh, about this library not library i will say it's a complete uh, image which they have given so just go ahead and check about different documentation available and the different scripts which they have written many other things you will find here okay so let me quickly show you here also they have mentioned exactly what we need to do but let's follow this part so let me start terminal I'm assuming you have everything installed in your system so in order to get started you need a docker if you don't have docker then in my previous video I have already discussed how to install docker so let's quickly see the images so first image which we need is for docker selenium so just hit enter and uh, it will check do we have yes now it is downloading right and in the meanwhile i will also open another link or oh, sorry another terminal and i will try to pull a fresh zelenium image so let it download it will take few seconds and uh, Let's wait. I already had these images, but uh, since we have a new update, it is downloading the updates quickly. And you can see these images are actually lengthy in size. That is the reason it is taking so much time. okay so now both the images has been downloaded you can see clearly so let me just uh, 
close this because this is not required and now let me just enter it here so now if you just see docker images it is we got these are the latest uh, images which we got so let me again write docker ps hyphen a and right now we can see I have only uh, five images and all are not running as of now all are in the exited mode so let me run the Zelenium image so again I will go back and I will simply run the command which they have mentioned and hit enter I'm not making any changes guys I'm just doing a copy paste and hit enter so now if you just try to read the logs okay um, first it says it is checking the docker version which is 18.09 this is the build number ensuring docker works docker selenium available it means everything is up and running then it says uh, starting some nginx server copying file into dashboard finally it's starting a selenium hub this part is done and it is launching the latest version of selenium at the time of recording it's 3.141.59 launching selenium grid everything it says this is the main part then it starts uh, other things like so, uh, other configurations source lab these are just quick log that these other services are not enabled and finally selenium is now ready plus by default it will register two nodes as i mentioned if you do not make any changes by default selenium will register two nodes so these are nodes are available on 172.17.0.3 and 4 and these are the port numbers okay so let me quickly um, open these so this is the exact you can see right 0304 this is 0304 and these are the port number it means two containers are already registered now if you talk about other links let me quickly see this is the dashboard which will uh, come up right now we haven't started any tests so this is blank as of now what else we have we also have a live recording so just search for live preview okay and uh, you can see here you will find the live preview as of now they both are not connected once you have the session you can directly uh, interact with them as well okay you can see this part interact via vnc and read only vnc so when you open the session with read only vnc you can actually log into the container but you cannot do anything but when you open this option interact with vnc um, with this option you can actually log into the container you can make some changes or you can interact with the browser okay so so these are the links which you need to remember first is your console which is this then live session and once everything is done just check out the recording as well so these are the links which is required now do not stop the selenium keep it up and running because when you stop the selenium right you will not be able to run your test so make sure selenium is up and running during your session and now let's quickly see how exactly we need to uh, send the request to the selenium hub or in simple words selenium hub inside selenium so let me start eclipse let me just save the previous files so if I open this part uh, we already discussed docker part so docker demo we have now let me create a fresh package called selenium selenium demo and here I will create a file called uh, execute test docker or maybe let's give it selenium and this is on Firefox okay, by default it's giving container so we don't need 
let me create one test let me increase the font size so public white test one and let me put at the red test yes now let's create a desired capability object desired capability cap equal to new desired capability cap dot set browser so we need a uh, firefox in this case so browser type dot firefox that's all we need as of now and now let's type web driver driver equal to new remote web driver and you can see it is asking give me the remote address and the capability so remote address we know that we need to forward all the requests to the hub hub we will give a local host colon 4444 slash grid slash uh, okay we need to give here web driver hub wd hub and the capability so we have a capability object which is cap and that's all as of now it will throw exceptions so I will just throw it as it is I am not handling it so this will redirect your test on this particular hub and it should run our test now so if I just say driver dot get pass any URL if you want you can print any title get title and uh, finally you can close it I will pass simply one URL okay maybe I will give some gmail dot com and it should run my test on gmail sorry it should run my test on selenium hub and the URL should be gmail.com so let's keep uh, let's open these links I will open this live preview and let me just run this test okay so let's refresh okay you can see this Firefox is already occupied right you can see this is little uh, occupied and the session is already running and it opened gmail and it closed it was very quick so it actually showed but for a very short period right so if you just open it again and see it has given us title as gmail.com so what we can do uh, let me just put two three more commands so that we can actually see the execution so I will say manage dot windows dot maximize and uh, let me put it here and let me actually put thread dot sleep at least for 15 seconds so that we can see what's happening inside the container so this I'm giving purposefully but when you start running your test you don't have to give it it is just to showing you uh, I'm making this 15 seconds of thread dot sleep so let's run it again and if you just go back and refresh this is available now so whenever you see anything is running it will just uh, grid out this particular icon and you will see this session is occupied let's run it again and uh, run as test ng test you will see the console log here you can see something is registered and session already started you can see this part so when I open this interact via VNC it is actually launching and we can see after 15 seconds it will call driver.quit and it will close the browser instance and right now I opened in an interactive mode it means I can make any changes here like if I want to click here forward email if I want to type something everything can be done right I can make this so now if you go back here after 15 seconds it will print the title and it will say driver.quit
okay uh, sorry guys I just did a small mistake in spite of 15,000 I put uh, 1 lakh 50,000 so it's going to take at least two and a half minute so that's fine anyways we can continue it will automatically close so it means it is running now what I will do I will just uh, create another test and this time I will say Chrome and now I will make it 15,000 so this is Firefox, this is Chrome. So in order to run this on Chrome, I will make the changes and I will say Chrome, right? Now this time it should run on Chrome. Now we have uh, one browser on like one test on Chrome, one test on Firefox. Now let's run these two tests parallelly. Or maybe if you want to try, just check it, safer side whether your Chrome is getting instantiated or not. So if you just come here and refresh, you can see again one Chrome is occupied, and uh, this is running on the right hand side. Can you see this? So it means now both Firefox and Chrome is working now we can run them parallelly and see how they are running so as of now we have two tests now let me create one more test so that I can show you its auto scaling feature because that is the reason we are moving to Zelenium right so I will not go more than three containers because my system is very limited I have limited resources right my memory will not allow to create uh, more than five containers or four containers I tried running four to five containers but since I have very less memory it is taking so much time and my sessions are getting terminated without any proper exceptions okay so in case if you have a big system which has good amount of memory okay let's say 16 GBs and 32 definitely go ahead with the 10 containers as of now I will create one more container so that I can show you the auto scaling feature so I will copy any of the test and I will paste it here so the one which I'm using now chrome one so in spite of okay here we have gmail and let me use some twitter so now these th tests I want to run parallelly so right click on your package click on test ng convert to test ng so it will try to run these three tests parallelly okay so as of now you can see we have three different classes so parallel mode I will select parallel equal to classes and since I'm going to run three different uh, classes so it means I need three sessions parallelly so thread count I will keep minimum three then only you will be able to see this parallel feature and since I, al since I already have testng.xml I will rename this to Zelenium and let's click on finish so I have the Zelenium now and when I run this it should start three sessions and one more thing I want to just print it I want to print the thread so I will say thread which is running so each thread will be running each test so I will just get the current thread and I will say get ID because I want to see whether three threads are getting created or not okay so one two three and now we have three threads let me run right click run as test ng feed so you can see three threads got created thread which is running 10 11 12 and if you come back this is the live uh, preview so as of now two containers are already created so it will take two containers immediately one container it will create at runtime okay since it will uh, create a new container right it might take few seconds and once everything is done it will create a container run our test and finally you will be able to see the result as of now if I go back to my Eclipse you can see uh, the test which is running gmail1 already it has given the title Okay, one test is executed remaining two tests it is taking some time 
so as we know firefox is little slow firefox is also done so you can see facebook one it printed and the last one is uh, which we created right that runtime container so can you see the third container got created at runtime it is running our test and uh, it will run our test yeah, this is the one which you got which executed just now and this is the dashboard which we have now you need to wait few seconds for the dashboard because once the tests are completely executed right it try to convert your sessions into your video recording and finally it will show to your dashboard okay so just wait few seconds and your dashboard will be ready with the video recordings let me check the eclipse all the three tests executed parallelly and all tests are done it means two tests it took the existing container one container it created and it destroyed automatically and you can see the recording so we executed two tests on chrome one test on firefox so the latest version of firefox it took is 68.0.2 and the latest chrome it took 76 so if you just want to cross verify so this is the system uh, this is the resolution this is the uh, time it has taken and uh, these are your selenium logs it has captured and these are the browser driver logs it has captured and along with the video recording you can download this you can see this option download and it you can use this download recording to for the reporting purpose and it took 54 seconds and same goes with other recordings this is for twitter and this is for gmail right so it was very amazing feature by Zelenium that auto scaling which we just uh, have discussed now so in case if you have multiple tests which you want to run parallelly please give a try with Zelenium it's very interesting and somehow I feel uh, this auto scaling feature will add more values when you have a huge number of tests so that's all I have for this video. If you like this video, uh, please share with your friends and uh, in case if you have any query, uh, just let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to answer this. And please share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel and I will be uploading more videos on test automation. Have a nice day guys. Bye bye.